Hi there, welcome to Yoga with Adele and today I'm going to just run through a really really quick gentle short sequence for tummy pain, IBS, um, colitis, anything like that where you've got things going on in your tummy which is uh, something that I've got going on at the moment so this is the kind of yoga that I'm practicing at the moment. Um, nothing too strenuous, just nice and gentle. It could also be good for period pains and cramps and that kind of thing. So we're going to begin just in a comfortable seated position of your choice. And just take your hands gently to rest on your knees with a straight spine and close your eyes and take five deep breaths into the belly. So relax the belly straight away here. Five in. the shoulders, three in, and out, really relax the belly, two in, two out, and last one in, Gently blink open your eyes, just taking the hands onto the knees, palms face down this time. I'm going to do a little bit of seated cat cow. So we're just going to roll forward, so lean slightly forwards in the hips, take the shoulders back, look up, breathe in. Roll back, round the back, shoulders forwards, chin to chest, breathe out. So seated cat cow, find some fluidity. Off we go, breathing in, breathing out. And really stretch the skin of the back. Two more, breathing in. And out. Last one in. And out. And then come back to centre. And then we're just going to take a circular motion, so kind of coffee grinder-ish, getting the juices of the digestive system flowing. So it's the same action, round into the back, hips forwards, chest open, but we take it in a clockwise circle. So round across the back, but roll to the sides, lean forwards in the hips, lift the chin, breathing in, and then around the back, breathing out. So we're going to do three circles this way. So sack on one, breathe in. So you're really twisting the tummy, breathe out. Third one, breathe in, relax the shoulders, elbows, hands, breathe out, and then go the other way. So reverse your circle, breathe in and out. Great, should be starting to feel a little bit better. Waking up the spine always makes you feel better, breathe out. And last one, in. Great. Now we're going to do um, a little twist. The twists are excellent for the digestive system. So we're going to sit up with the legs just out straight. I'm going to take your right leg and go ahead and bend the knee and cross the foot over just in line with the left knee. And then we're going to sit up nice and tall. It's really important not to just slouch here like the back is going to want to slouch. So sit up right on your sitting bones. And then for an easy option, you're just gonna take the hand just around the knee, take the left hand around the knee, the right hand to the floor. Common mistake is to lean right back here. Again, the spine isn't straight, straight spine. So the hand's gonna need to be really close, right up onto the fingertips. Gently press into the fingertips and into the thumb. So really make purchase here. Roll this shoulder back. And then if possible, really hug this leg in a bit more so you might be able to reach the crook of the elbow, hook it around the knee, really draw it in. Again, see so our slump down here. Encourage the spine, help the spine, and you'll feel this deep twist in the belly. Now, we don't want to crank the head first, so we're going to breathe in with a straight spine. 
I'm going to breathe out, twist the belly. Breathe in with a straight spine. Breathe out, twist the ribs. Breathe in with a straight spine, back off slightly. Breathe out, finally turn the head. Good. And then we'll unravel and do the other side. Take that leg, stretch out and bend up the left knee. And take the left foot across, just in line with the right knee. And I'm keeping my right foot active, so I don't think you can really see this, but I'm just keeping a little bit of active uh, sensation in that right leg. So it's not just completely passive, so it's helping this stable foundation. So again, for an easier option, just take the hand, go ahead, take the left hand behind, really close to the buttocks and sit up nice and tall. So this is a really gentle open twist. If you want a little bit more, Hug that leg in a little bit more, wrap the elbow, and then go ahead and straighten the spine. Three breaths, breathe in, twist the belly, breathe out. So we're wringing out toxins, which is what we wanna do in your digestive organs. Breathe in. Breathe out, turn the ribs, hug the leg in. And last one, breathe in. Breathe out, turn to look over the shoulder. Great, and then unravel, super, and stretch the legs out. So I'm gonna do a little forward bend. I'm just gonna aim to gently bring the tummy down onto the thighs. What I'm gonna do, if your hamstrings are tight, so you're not able to get this purchase with the tummy, so a little bit of a, an abdominal gentle massage, you can bend up the knees so that you can lean the belly onto the legs, that's no problem. What you could also do is do a nice passive version of this and get yourself some cushions off the couch or some folded blankets. Still you can bend the knees, tuck those right in and then lift up the ribs and lean over your support. It feels really nice. You can allow the legs to straighten if they want to or you can keep a little bend. I recommend a little bend here because this is kind of restorative yoga we're working on here. And then you can turn the head to the side. And you can take the chin. You can even use, quite nice to use the arms, I think, here. I'm gonna fold up this top cushion, so just make yourself comfortable. And then I've got space for the head. And just breathe. Nice and passive, and then slowly roll up when you're ready. Pillows off to one side, and then we'll do reclined cobbler's pose. So soles of the feet together, Baddha Konasana. So the soles of the feet are together, just resting on the mat, and then roll yourself down. I'm going to take my hands onto my tummy. My tummy is growling a little bit. So I'm going to take my hands onto my tummy so that you've got this hand to tummy connection here. Crawl the shoulder blades under the back, drop the chin gently towards the chest and we're going to take five deep breaths, focusing healing energy from the hands, that human connection into your belly and just visualise a nice, clear, warm white light healing energy radiating into this area here. Close your eyes and breathe. soft belly. Last couple of breaths here. <sighs> Great. And then take the knees into the chest for um, Aponasana. 
So we're going to take one hand on top of each shin, on top of each knee, and as you breathe out, you're just going to squeeze the knees in towards the chest. And as you breathe in, you're not letting go of the knees, you're keeping that support, you're just letting the elbows straighten. Okay, so we're going to do five of these. Breath out, squeeze everything in, breath in, release, and straighten. Two, release and relax the tummy. Three, if you want to lift the nose up towards the shins, you can do, but you don't have to. Big breath in, release and relax the belly. And five. Good, release the feet down. Take your arms out, shoulder height. Keep the feet nice and wide. We're going to go for another twist. I'm going to let the knees drop to the left. I'm going to turn my head to the right. And as I do, I'm going to turn the right palm to face up, left palm to face down. So you're looking at your open hand. Your knees are away from the direction that you're looking. Then we're going to twist from side to side. So we're going to roll the knees across, slowly roll the head, turn the other palm, left palm up, right hand down, and just reach that left knee away so that the, the knee that is closest um, to the mat, to the centre line, stretch it away, stretch it long just to increase this twist. And you can even take your hands up on a bit of a diagonal, that increases the twist as well. Roll to the other side. Lengthen the right knee away and then keep going. So just rolling, alternating the palms, alternating the position of the hands if that feels good. Find some really nice twisting action. Roll and twist and breathe. Great. And then come back to centre. Take a breath, relax the belly. Just going to work on a little bit of a, um, a pose now to help to relax the tummy muscles, the deep tissues. So it's kind of like a sit up, but we want to take it really easy. We're going to interlace the hands behind the head. So you're allowing the heavy weight of the head to rest in the hands. And you're going to open the shoulders, press the elbows into the floor and arch the back as you breathe in. As you breathe out, just contract the belly muscles as you come up, keep the head really relaxed. And what we want to do is focus on the relaxation. So we're going to go down slowly and really release those tummy muscles as much as you can. Soften, 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 release. Good. Breathe in. Arch the spine, breathe out. So we're not working the abs here, we, we are, but we want to focus on release. And as you come up, I can feel some juddery there, juddering sensation. So work on smoothing that out. Soften, 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 and relax. Big breath in, last one. If you feel too much juddering, don't come up as far. Let the elbows come towards each other as you come up. Oh, mine's quite tight. I have a lot going on in my tummy at the minute. And how much can you soften and release as you breathe in and relax. Good. The last pose we're going to do is happy baby. So you're going to take the legs up, bend the knees, reach up to the outside edge of the feet. So I'll show you this way. And then see if you can get the tailbone to press down at the same time as you relax the shoulders and draw the knees towards the armpits. Happy baby. So just use that weight of the arms to draw the knees in and just breathe and relax here. And then maybe rock a little bit side to side. If you can't reach the feet, no problem. Grab the ankles. That's absolutely fine. And just embrace a little bit of fun and playfulness here. So a lot of the times, gut problems, IBS problems can be holding on to things, um, a sense of fear. So if you can be a little bit lighthearted and playful, I think that's going to help in many ways. 
one more breath and then release draw the knees in wrap your arms around the shins curl yourself into a ball and give yourself a huge loving hug so well done for your practice and then just come to lie on your back again hands resting on the tummy stretch the legs out take a breath let it go and just spend a few breaths breathing into the belly so you can stay here as long as you like just hands resting on the belly complete relaxation um shavasana pose just take from it what you need take as long as you need i'm going to close here but feel free to stay where you are you don't need to sit up um if you want to draw your hands together just to close the practice bring them to your forehead and namaste thank you for practicing with me do let me know if this is useful and you feel a release and ease in your symptoms um i hope and pray that you do love and light from adele